whatever. Okay, it's actually like the game is really small now. <laughs> okay, I don't think this is gonna work. <laughs> the game is really tiny, so I think I think we're gonna have to just play full screen. But I, I turned the volume down a little bit, so still more functional than Tomb Raider Anniversary, though. Oh, the white box of I don't know what that means. Okay, so yeah, it's been a little while since when was the last time we like played this? I don't remember. It's been um. It was over 80 billion years. Yeah, do you guys want to see something funny? Not really. <gasps> when I was a kid, I used to be like terrified of the boulders in Tomb Raider. There's something about that like really compressed rumbling sound that like really fucking like pest like scared me. I guess every child has a fear of being like compressed and squished and destroyed yeah. by a boulder. Yeah. Did you guys ever watch the Thomas the Tank Engine like show? Because there was an episode with a giant boulder with a face on it, and it was really fucking scary. I don't remember. Which route do you want me to take? Chicken, ball, or man? Chicken. Obviously chicken. Alright. Chicken. Oh, this is my least favorite one, I just remembered. That should be like a, a like that should be some kind of Twitter like reaction gif, just the fucking block of chicken moving over, and then it would just say like just like me for real for real or something after. All right, I'm gonna save here because uh, that that spike pit is kind of tempting. Oh my dummy hurts. That's the spike animation, the, the 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 Callisto protocol death animation for landing on spikes. I don't I don't know how speedrunners do it do this part, but I think you can. There we go. I feel like that very weird diagonal jump is not like what the game would expect you to do in like because this is only the fourth level. I feel like a really weird diagonal jump like that is a bit like it's a bit early in the game for that. Like the last world, sure, they have you do shit like that all the time, but if it is used as like part of level design in like later worlds, then no, it definitely is like maybe it's a little obtuse at the time, but like you gotta introduce it at some point. If they do end up using it. Yeah. Also, I don't really know why the compass is a thing. Because I've played this game through many times, and the compass has never been useful. It's so you don't get lost in the tombs, bro. Yeah, but, like, knowing which way north is doesn't help you in anything. You, like, don't have uh, any object permanence, and you just, like, don't, like, remember where how you got to where you are. Yeah. I really love the like moving the fucking like PNG assets. I, I I I hope more games bring that back, like indie games where they do like the crusty, the crusty like PS1 style stuff. They got to bring back the moving the moving PNGs because they're spooky. I like them. If mm. I ever if I ever make an indie game, I'm going to I'm going to have have floating PNGs. You're, you're going to make as PS3 a primary asset uh, PS1. Yeah, DS3, but it's just PNGs. <laughs> Okay. Everything is a everything is a moving PNG. I like to imagine a P uh, like a PNG of a fisher moving towards you. That'd be funny. <laughs> a lot of people make PS One style games like they don't actually take into account like PS One limitations. They just make it like low poly. You gotta have those cinematic fucking what is it? How many how many gigahertz of RAM? How many gigahertz of RAM? <laughs> yeah, like 0. 0.5. Hell yeah, bro. I would say, like, just consider it a bit more. Because, like, if my computer starts, like, blowing up from, like, and I get, like, 5 FPS playing your PS1 game, mm -hmm. maybe it's not too much, like, yeah, a PS1. It is emulating the PS1. It's turning your computer into PS1 hardware. <laughs> <laughs> the new malware. Why does it throw look suspicious? Because it is suspicious. Oh. I would have just fucking died that i think avoiding the traps is kind of like subverting the the game designer's vision yeah i think you actually shouldn't do that so what would you have me do instead sarah that's very dishonest i think yeah you should just like fall into the trap you should see uh all the death animations i think because like all the animators spent a lot of time on that you know i like that this block is just like the it's like the head shape but it's just slightly flattened it's funny when textures get used like that, where they're like, this texture is just, like, see, like, right here? It's like, this wall, 
Like, yeah. like the intended size of the texture is like that one there, where, where like I have her head pointed at. Yeah, yeah, no, just I know, I know what you mean. Just fully fucking stretch, because like I, I, I like it though. It's kind of got, but it's got like crusty character to it, you know. What do you think this guy's thinking right now? He's thinking about boobs. Dude, that's a cool skeleton. Cool fucking skeleton PNG. Dude, that's a cool skeleton. It's not a PNG. It's actually a model. I'm not sure quite why, but like the skeletons have like an actual model, but like, like the mummies are like PNGs. It's simple. They they didn't have any mummies to uh, to cross reference for 3D modeling, but they have plenty of skeletons. <laughs> yeah, it's the skeletons of the developers after making Tomb Raider Five. Real. I I told you about that, didn't I? The like. The, like, kind of famously or maybe infamously, um, they basically, the developers, uh, like the Tomb Raider devs, they were cranking out a Tomb Raider game every year. And by the fifth game, they were just like so sick of it that they killed Lara off. Like they killed the character. They're like, we don't want to make any more. But then Lara comes back in like Tomb Raider 6 and they like retcon her dying. They're like, oh, she survived. Of course. And then, God, and then, I, love, I love reboots. No, it wasn't a reboot, actually. It, it was a sequel. A sequel after a character dies, and then they cop out and say, oh, he didn't actually die. That's a reboot. That That's the, that's the company. After after the original creative director said, nah, I'm done with this, they said, no, no, it prints enough money. Fuck you. We're making a sequel, quote-unquote. And, like, they come up with any reason to bring it back, which is, like, how you get all these fucking characters coming back to life or just never dying. Um, Consequences like... in, my, in my franchise movies. <laughs> I'm sorry, we need another Fast and Furious next next year. <laughs> I'll be honest though, like Tomb Raider 6, I, I do have a soft spot sport because they did try a lot of different stuff and the game had kind of a... I think it, the development was kind of rushed or something because the game came out like really unfinished and if that game had another year to cook, I feel like it would have been like a lot better. It's kind of like, um, it's kind of like Turok Evolution because there's a lot of stuff they wanted to do with that game, but like the dev cycle or whatever, like they released it when it like wasn't, hasn't quite cooked yet. And like, cause I don't think the game is bad. I just, if you, if you treat it like it literally is unfinished, you're like, yeah, if this game had more time, it would have been better, but like... Yeah, bro, if 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 you keep it in closed alpha, it, it <laughs> you could just deflect every it. Ga every game is unfinished. <laughs> yeah, Dark Souls 3 is actually just a beta. Ah, fuck, that actually got me. <laughs> Hold on, one of these has a secret behind it, but I think it's like you have to walk up to it and it opens or something. Tifo Gore. Uh, oh, I think that's it right there. That That tile looks suspicious. <laughs> called it. it it's the it's the cell shaded uh a asset in the background of an animated movie you know it's gonna move yeah oh did i ever tell you that um when me and mac when we watch like a three like a like a 2d animated movie like a like, like an old disney ren film or something <laughs> we have like a running gag that when characters die they become like background painted assets so like we say, so in, whenever we say like a character's gonna get killed, we say they're gonna get painted. When Bambi's mom dies, she becomes painted. Like, oh dude, she just got painted, bro. Unfortunately, she got drawn by a background artist. <laughs> this fellow, this this gentleman's head, he follows you, he looks at you, dude. Isn't that spooky? That's cool. Yeah, I think if I remember, if you touch him, he like falls on you. I like this creature. Oh. Ooh. I have to grab. He was like, oh. <laughs> have to grab. They do 3D model the mummies. Yeah, well, these ones, but the other ones are like PNGs, but these ones are like the living ones or whatever. It it's... would be a lot funnier if the, if the ones that, like, attacked you were also PNGs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Oh my gosh, you took the, the, the artifact from the podium and... and, and, it's, uh, and... it's Indiana Jones mummies. They're trying to turn out to be fucking aliens with those long faces. That's awesome. They're not. They're not aliens. They're like they're they're Atlantean flesh creatures. They're like skinwalkers. Like, hmm. They're they're not aliens. They're just skinwalkers. Ah, right. Yes. Yeah. A very distinct difference. It reminds me the very famous Skinwalker Ranch doesn't actually have like any. I don't. If I remember, it doesn't have skinwalkers on it. It's actually aliens. And I'm like, oh, okay. That's a little. That's a little confusing. What about alien ranch? <laughs> Alien Ranch would probably have skinwalkers. Ow, 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 ow. 
Man. I'll heal and hide you to a barn door yet. Of course. Yeah, Where the kids here? He, he's he's talking in like a like a you know cowboy accent. He's like, I'm gonna tie you to a barn. We're talking about the artifact here. Damn straight we are. Damn straight. <laughs> he says at gunpoint. This piece you say. Yeah. Miss Natla put Pierre Dupont on that trail. He has to go interact with the French. Thank you. I will. I don't know. I, I I actually don't know where the other two secrets are. I'm, I I this is one of those levels where I just have no fucking idea. That's bad. Whenever I look at like the the in-game model of Lara, I'm like, yeah, she has big she has big polygon boobs, but you know they're not insane. But then when you see the the full motion video cutscenes, you're like, oh my god, damn. Creatures. Yeah, they're lions, I think. Kind of. But not too okay, much. Okay, can the camera, can the camera please, can the camera please, I think I missed the trigger for like, actually I'm curious, can you just play the whole level with the camera zoomed in like this if you just don't hit the trigger that like gets rid of it? Hold on, let me see if it goes away. No, it's just... <laughs> what, are, what, are, what are their chances they throw on the fail safe in? I don't know, I don't know, but like there's, there's one tile I think that removes like the camera zoom, so let me uh... Let me go to let me let me hit the tile. Okay, uh it's not going away. Surely, surely you just have to step on the tile to make the camera go like normal. Um erm. Um what happened? Did did did, did um, I Um Um Is is he he's behind um. me? <laughs> he's right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> you 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 can't be telling me that like the the trigger is like is like dependent on me doing it the first time. There's no way. I'm hey, I'm even like happened. okay. I'm we're gonna have to reload the level then. <laughs> Hold on. Surely this will fix it. Yeah. Surely I... it will not persist past the reload. <laughs> Yeah, don't worry. I'm not gonna make you watch the cutscenes and shit again. I'll just skip it. But cursed game files. Yeah. OMG, creepy pasta. Five nights in Lara Croft. Personalized. The other thing personalized is the boob G size. GTA Seven, <laughs> real coffee. Boob 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 mode. Oh, I think this maybe this is the other secret. <laughs> Lara Croft boob 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 secret mode. nude mod, real. The nude code thing. I I when I started um. When I started trying to mod Skyrim, I went to like the front page of like Nexus mods, and it was literally all just mods. <laughs> it was just boob mod, and I'm like, oh, because I like I figured the more popular thing would have been like some like I don't know like look guys, I put guts in Skyrim or some other like lore mod or something, but <laughs> yeah, the the fat tits lore. <laughs> yeah, boob lore. Guts with big boobs. <laughs> His his AI is kind of oh there we go. The way uh the way the AI on humanoid enemies work in, in like all the Tomb Raider games is like it's literally is that you just roll behind them and they like can't do anything about it and they well, as far as what? as far as I know the AI on like all the all the enemies is the same up until at least Tomb Raider four. That's like the Detroit Urban Survival fucking like technique. <laughs> All right. Oh, and now my camera's fixed. Okay. I love Detroit Urban Survival. But yeah, the self-defense guru. Yeah, where he's like, you do this maneuver or whatever. Yeah, yeah that would not. No, they would just shoot you, dude. Oh, monkey. It's actually a gorilla. Do this maneuver against the uh, against the crackhead that's currently trying to look for his fix. I'm sure he will react uh, accordingly while high on fucking trank. The sound that the gorillas make in this game is really funny. It's too bad you can't hear it. They go. Um, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Why did you make five minutes of Freddy's jumpster sound? Because that's what it sounds like. It sounds like that. <laughs>